Hello everyone, welcome back to Catch Mall Gaming. And today I'm going to be making a video about why I haven't been uploading the last few months and just any other events that are coming up very soon here in Pokemon Go. So let's start with why I haven't uploaded. I decided to take a little break from YouTube because I kept getting frustrated because my phone just stops recording randomly. I'm really not sure what the problem is, but I'd start a live stream and like two minutes in the camera would freeze but the mic would still work. So, you know, it's just hard for me to just try and make videos for you all, but now I've came up with a new plan and I'm going to be using my laptop to start making videos until I get a new phone or I can fix it. So obviously the mic, as you can tell, isn't very good on my laptop. I'm going to be looking into getting a better one here very soon, but for now we're going to have to deal with this. So that's basically what's been going on with me. I just got a little bit bored, mainly of Pokemon for a little bit. There wasn't really a lot going on. I wanted to make some videos, but you know, there's not really much to cover, or my technology wouldn't work. But anyway, we're going to move on from that, and we're going to be talking about the Pokemon Go 4th Anniversary event, which is this image here that they teased, I believe, this morning. So obviously this is a few hours after, but we're going to analyze it together here. So let's just stop in, well, start, sorry, in the uh, top left corner here. So obviously right here in the middle is Mega Lucario. It's a very, very good Pokemon stat-wise, and... Uh, Hopefully it will be very relevant in raids and PvP in the game. Um, what else here? So we have Whimsicott, which is a new one. So that's the evolved form of Cottony, which is a Gen 5 Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll just go over here. We have Reshiram and Zekrom flying with Mega Mewtwo Y, which is going to be, I believe, the best Psychic type attacker due to its like huge attack stat in this game. It's already really broken, and that's just going to really change the game. So let's move down a little bit. We have Mega Charizard X. I like X more than Y. I just like the Dragon type. I'm not sure why. So we got a little Munchlax balloon. That's pretty cool. We'll, we'll save him for last. So we have West Sea Shellos, I believe, and then EC. I might have them mixed up. I'm really not sure. But they're chilling on the Lapras, and it uh, looks pretty cool. We got Pokestop in the back, and they're actually in a pool, which is a nice little touch. Then we have uh, my team leader for Mystic feeding the Shell of Supine app, which is pretty cute. So then we have a trainer here. Um, they're facing off over here against the other trainer with Pikachu Libre, which is in the game. I'm not sure how you get it, though. I'll make a video about that some other time. But we'll talk about the Pokemon now, which is, I know you already saw it. We have Froakie, which is the Gen 6, Gen 6 sorry, water type starter, which is pretty awesome. We also have uh, Pig Knight. Mincino and Eevee. They're looking pretty cute. Let's just get him. We have Giovanni here in the back. I think he's going to be in GoFest. They're going to be doing a takeover or something like that again soon. It's with this Persian, which is his like main Pokemon. So that's pretty cool. We have Cliff and Arlo here. And then with Spark, he's with his Electabuzz. And they got Berries. And it's pretty cool. So we got Scizor. And uh, we'll move over here now. Scroll up. Uh, let's go over here. So we have the Rocket Balloon, which is in the sky. I believe that's going to be with Jesse and James from Team Rocket. I think they're going to do their release with this uh, year's anniversary. So that should be coming pretty soon. Uh, we'll do the balloons. We have Victini, which is the Pokemon that they tease at the uh, Pokemon Presents. So that's going to be pretty cool. I can't wait to get that one. It's one of my favorite mythicals. Uh, I love to collect mythicals in Sword and Shield. I'll be making a video about that pretty soon, but I'll just tell you I have five Mew. So obviously I'm... I like Mew. So that's pretty cool. I got Rapidash over here with the Team Valor leader. We have Sierra. So there's all the Rocket leaders. And then we have uh, the Professor. He has a Meltan on his shoulder. That's pretty cool. We have Chespin. And then we have Fennekin over here. So we will hopefully be seeing the Gen 6 starters with GoFest or sometime this year, eventually. They already teased Megas and all this cool stuff that will be coming. Galar Farfetch'd, he was released a little while ago for a teaser. So, I mean, that was pretty cool. Galar Zigzagoon. There's some pretty cool stuff here. There's so much to take in. It's just, wow. It's pretty cool that it's been four years since the game started. I started in 2017 because I didn't get a phone until around then. So, as soon as I got it, I loved the game. I've been playing it ever since. And it's still pretty fun. So, obviously, there's some stuff they need to incorporate here. I'd like to see more more legends and that kind of thing, more shiny legends like Dialga and Palkia and Giratina Origin form. There's just a whole ton of stuff that they need to add in the game eventually here. 
So this is basically all I want to cover in this video today. Obviously, there's a lot of stuff here, so I'll leave it on screen if you guys want to, you know, zoom in or any of that, take some screenshots and look at it. I'll try and link it in the description below, like, where I got the image. So, yeah, there's just so much to look at here. Yeah, it's just, wow. This year is going to be pretty big. Next year is the 5th anniversary and the 25th anniversary of Pokemon in general. So it's going to be a pretty big year next year. So I'm looking forward to it. Obviously, there's a lot of restrictions right now with uh, coronavirus, so hopefully you all are doing pretty good. I'm doing okay, personally. I'm just getting a little bit stir-crazy. I'm guessing a lot of other people are. But I hope you all enjoyed this video today. Make sure to drop a like and subscribe. Hopefully, I'll get that mic within the next couple of days here. My audio, audio quality will sound a lot better. But for now, we're going to work with this, and I'll try and get another video up tomorrow. I'm going to go edit this one and get it posted. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next video. Hope you enjoyed, and see you later, trainers.